this is Orville Thompson speaking. My mother's going to sing some little songs she composed and then tell a story. Liberty, liberty, here she stands to show our other land. The freedom we have attained, yet our hands are unstained. With all this freedom she can sing, glory to the newborn king. This country which we all adore, from shore to shore, it we shall never sever, but it shall last forever and ever. I thank my mother for all the sisters she gave me to love, although she is ascended above. I thank her for this gracious love, and brothers I had a few, but now I only have two. Just to be with them is a pleasure. I always treasure. Now I'm going to tell a little story. When my mother was sick with Tom in bed, she had the New Testament. She kept it under her pillow and studied it all the time. And so when she got well, she sent for her Baptist minister to come and told him that she wanted to be baptized. And he said, why, Sister Farnham, the doors of the church is not open yet. You will have to wait till the doors of the church is open. Mama said, well, I thought that you could be baptized in the church any time you wanted to be. And so uh, come along a um, minister of the gospel. And so some friends was there. And so they took Mama over to hear him preach. And Mama believed every word he said. So Papa come home about that time. Mama took him to listen. And Papa says, well, he's just a candlelight. And uh, Mama says, well, I don't care. I want to be baptized. But well, Papa says, I'll take you, but I'll go around town. I'm ashamed to take you through town. Mama wore her hat with the red cherries on it. She and several other ladies were immersed into the church that day, into the church. Maud is 79 years old. She wrote these songs and also the music for them. When June was about one year old, we used to go visit Maud and Harmony. Dick was about five and always begged me to leave June at his house. One day I asked him if he would give me a tiny baby for June if they ever had one. Very readily, he said yes. Not long after, Dick's little brother Charles was born. Then June had a baby brother. So we went to see Maud and Harley again. Dick was leaning against his mother, and I said, Dick, will you give me your baby brother for June? Tears came in his eyes. He looked at Maud and said, Mom, I didn't mean a raised baby. I meant a bite baby. <laughs> <laughs>